Turn it up. What's going on? So today, I'm going to fix what's been a problem for a long time. See this? It's actually, well, let's put it in another gear. You put the clutch in. Ooh, that wasn't me. So here's it in second. Let me unscrew this. In second gear, and there's that much wobble. So that problem is this little piece right here. It's a shifter bushing. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that today because that's annoying. That'd be annoying for anyone. Here, here's neutral. It has as much play as it does in neutral. That's, <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and, so I've already unscrewed some of it, but what you'll do is basically your shifter is gonna unscrew like this. You'll pull that off. Put this out of the way. And then what you'll need to do, there's some screws on either side of here, one in here, and I think there is two in the center console back here. So I haven't, all I've done is unscrewed these and pulled this off. I haven't lifted this up, so yeah, I don't know what's under here. It's always terrifying because you never know. Oh, mm. okay. There we go. So there's two plugs. Just two little plugs. Come on. There we go. There you go. You just take that, put it up out of the way. So there's some valve stem caps. <laughs> Look at that. It's like, ooh. So it's two plastic ones and a metal one. Just throw that out of the way. There's a spring. We're looking through history right here. Someone had a soda and another soda. Look at that. Jackpot. Let's see, when was this quarter? This quarter was from... Why does that say anything? 1999. How about these two dimes? 76. And something else. Okay. So, throw this stuff out of the way. Nope. Oh. You'll move this up out of the way. I'm doing this in real time with you guys. I've never changed one of these before. So, looks like... Oh, I should put gloves on. So, let's see. Yeah. So, that's looking like a 10 millimeter. Let's see. Nope. Yeah. So that's actually, yeah, that is a 10. So this shouldn't be that hard to change. It probably will be. <laughs> Just because it's my luck. But it shouldn't be too hard to change. Try not to break anything in your car. Swinging stuff around. So if you're new to my channel, this is pretty much it. Just me fixing my cars. I got some cool projects I'm coming up with. That way you guys are entertained. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So let's see. Oh. Well, that came out, didn't it? 
<laughs> oh. Oh, that's... Oh, and it smells bad. Oh. So. There you go, guys. So here's the new one. So what it's going to do... That's disgusting. Is it's going to go... Right over that. I'll have to press it on there real quick. But what I just noticed is... There you go. Ooh, God, it smells bad. There's a piece. There's a new one. There's a piece of the old one. So definitely there was a problem with it. So I'm going to throw the old piece on the ground. And I'm going to get a screwdriver real quick. We're going to root around inside of there, see if I can get any of the other pieces out. It looks like they've just been kind of demolished in there. So, now that I've got a screwdriver, I'm back. Oh. No, the rest of it's gone. That's disgusting. So, as far as I know, what you'll do is... Ooh, that boot's ripped. Is you'll take it. Don't do that. <laughs> there we go. Just press it in, it'll pop right in. There you go. Look at that. Should be a whole lot better. So, what you'll do is go ahead and you'll there's a slot here that'll line up right there with the pin that's sticking out. Oh, this is so nasty. Pull this boot up out the way. Well, this ain't going in too well, is it? Oh. Come. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> there we go. So what you'll do is take these 10 millimeter bolts Thread it back in. Take your next one. Just adjust it all. So there was another small bushing in that little slot that I should have replaced. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me I, I should have done that. And that's okay. But I just want to get the, the shifter bushing itself changed so it felt a little bit better. Because the way it was is really bad. So, bolt this back in here. And you'll tighten this one down. Oops. Don't break anything in your car. Don't over torque it. It's in this. Those go into aluminum, so you don't want to over torque them and strip anything. So let's see. Yeah, there's a little bit more play, but. Look how much nicer that is. That feels a whole lot more direct. 
That's great. And that was only like, I think I paid $13 for that little plastic bushing. So look at that. 10 minutes of your time, about $15 with tax. And you got a good shifter again. I can't wait to drive this thing now. So there you go. The shifter's fixed. Might have to put a new piece in it another day, so it's a little tighter for right now. That's pretty good for me. And it's a, something you can do. All you need is a 10 millimeter socket and a screwdriver in 10, 15 minutes of your time. That's it. You got a better shifter. That way, that. You can go out and have more fun in your little car. Now this will apply to basically any car. If you got a stick shift car, five speed, six speed, and your shifter bushing's gone, it's probably around the same thing as, as this one. <laughs> but, well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video with some friends if they've got a sloppy shifter, and like the video, comment. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know how everything's going, how your day's going. Tell me if I'm doing okay, if my videos are getting any better everything like that. So till next time, keep working on your projects.